Hi, it is Aikam Tem again. So today I make this video is because I like to have all Wing Chuners know about those things. Okay. In the old time, people will not talk about this kind of stuff because this is what they call the closed door students teaching. Okay. And uh, as my friend in the Silicon Valley tell me, Hendrik, if you tell them, then everybody you use it. Okay. The issue is like this. The issue is it doesn't matter it's you or me. We are both wing chuners. Any one of us going down to the tube, wing chun going down to the tube. And the guy who cry is the ancestor. Okay? So for education purpose, I make this video. Okay? That way everybody know exactly what is going on. And uh, beside, today is a civilized society. We don't use Wing Chun for fighting. This is an art. So all Wing Chuners deserve to know this. Okay? Now let's start. So last night this friend make videos and uh, 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 different videos to show me how things doesn't work. Okay? And it's pretty good because uh, at least that he is asking and uh, he is uh, like to discuss. Okay? The first thing he tell me is this Hendrik, it doesn't work I walk here, I strike And he, is going to, he can strike me with this arm The opponent can strike me with this arm So it doesn't work Okay, so that's the first thing That's what he said You walk here and you strike It doesn't work This arm can strike me Okay Number one thing. The second thing he tell me is that, which is a question asking me, oh, because this hand can can hit me, so can I do a folk da or tan da different uh, those type of techniques, Wing Chun techniques? This is the second, <coughs> and the third one, he told me this. He said, whenever I try to get here. The opponent is following me, okay? He turned and following me. So it doesn't work. Now, by just listen to these three points, anybody who have the science of Wing Chun will know this is a serious, deadly problem, okay? This is very, very deadly. The first thing, the first thing, it doesn't work. I punch from here, this hand can hit me. Okay? This is showing that the person have no idea what is a long strike, a long fist, what is a short strike. Okay? This is standing at the long fish range. Okay, a long fish range. Okay, and this is exactly as general Wing Chun practice. Oh, I want to have an angle to strike in. Okay, by seeing just this, we know that this is in a long fist range and the person have no idea is it a long fist or a short strike and thus if one try to use a short strike stuff in a long fist range you know it's disaster okay now so one need to know what is long fish, one is, what is short strike. Long fish is in this range, okay, that's a 40 centimeter range. Short strike is this range. 
Okay, that's why Wing Chun we call ourselves sticking body short strike. My son doing that, keep son doing that, like the body sticking to the opponent. Okay, or close to the opponent. It is not here. So what is the reason why it need to be here? And why is that over here I can get hit by this, this hand? And over here I cannot get hit by this hand? One need to know about the momentum play. Again, this is about the momentum play. Due to different distance, the mechanic will be different. For example, if this is a center line of the opponent, the center line of the opponent, he strike me from here, from this angle. Say I am the wooden dummy. He strike me from this angle, this far, okay? This far. Because he's in a long face distance. I just have to turn a little bit. I'm gonna. Sh I can. I can shoot him. Okay. So, if he strike me from this angle, I just can turn a little bit slightly. I can shoot him. Okay. Now, we need to know a really serious the line of attack. Line of attack is not a straight line between me and you. Line of attack is a zone, okay? Because when people strike, people can strike this way or this way. This way or this way. As soon as one is within this zone, one is within the line of attack or line of fire. Now, even the guy, my opponent, strike me here. A, re a really minor turn I can strike him so if I stand here to strike him here with a very minor turn this guy is gonna strike me because I never get up from the line of fire or the zoom of fire okay so that is the problem when one do not know is it a long face or a short strike range. Now, that get one into right into the line of fire or line of attack within that zone in the long face range. Now, think about this. If I am in the short strike, sticking body short strike uh, distance, Okay, so in other words that if I'm the dummy, my opponent is no longer here, but here close to me, close here to me. Can I strike him with this punch? If I want to strike with the punch, I'm going to turn my, my body and doing so. For example, I'm here. If he tried to strike me with this arm, he will have a very tough time to get me with this arm and his body has to turn right and guess what where is my body my body is handling his axis already a simple push he's gonna fly away okay because i capture his vertical axis okay so a short strike get in here strike here the whole body axis here is already under control. He can struggle as he like. His this arm is not going to get me because I'm so close to him. Like, it's my if, if he's here, how can I punch him here? I can turn like that. Is that it, which is fast? Uh, which is uh, further? I'm going this way with my momentum and time, or he just go come kiss me, which is far, which is closer. Okay, so with this kind of stuff, saying this not working, we know number one, 
have no idea what is the long fist or short strike. Have no idea what, what art is that. The second thing, don't know one is in the zone of fire, in the, uh, uh, in the line of fire. The third one, one do not know about momentum and timing. Okay? If you rush toward me, I go in here short. The second time, the second timing he come, he's already gone because I'm so close to him already. Not to mention this arm has a difficult time to apply because the mechanic is jammed. It's like here, I try to punch something here. Well, this guy can come in and I got try to punch something here. Of course, if he's here, I'm going to punch in here, right? So this is exactly the technical play type of mentality. Have no idea about long fish, short strike. Have no idea about momentum and timing. This is a case of death. The basic, if one screw this up. Okay? Many people just watch video, go to seminar, study online, thinking they know it. They don't. If, if they do not really go facing the, 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 uh, the dummy, think about it clearly, experiment, uh, try to experience what is going on with different scenarios and everything. It's not just read book, listen to the, the, the Sifu talk or watching video. One will not know what it is, okay? One might, one might think one know, but when in the real life, it is a complete mess. Okay, so number one problem, no idea about what is a long, uh, long fist, no idea what is about the short strike, no idea what is the mechanics, no idea what is the momentum timing. That is the very basic thing of martial arts. Okay, the second thing, standing here, the question is can I use the folk style? And uh, or Tan Sao different style here because I don't want his hand to hit me. Okay. You know what they run into? They run into exactly for chasing hand. At this instance, when I try to punch him, he's trying to punch me. Are you so sure that you can you can you can fuck him or, or tan him? This become a chasing hand. The second thing is as what I mentioned before, both are in what? In the line of attack. It's going to exchange strike. And if he is not Wing Chun, but Western Boxer does punch. The, the, the launch, the long range launch punch, he shift a little bit, I can get knocked out. Now I can do all my, uh, my, my, my Fok Sao, Tan Sao here, and I can get knocked out. Okay. So the first thing is chasing hand. The set, which is every wing tuner say, well, no, don't chasing hand. But once you do the folks out, those kind of thing is chasing hand. Why? Then wing tun say go to for the center line. That's what wing tun say. Use uh, try to dissolve it or use the momentum handling to dissolve the issue. Don't chasing hand. Okay. But people don't, again, this is, I think I know, but really one doesn't know, okay? And the second thing is, when you get into the situation, it becomes exchange of power, exchange of strike. That exactly fall into Chi Chi Kuang's uh, saying. Not withdraw, uh, not withstand, not parry, not what of, one clear strike. If one violating and get into what of parry withstand, then you have ten things there. That's what it is. When you go go folks out here, he's gonna punch me. It's going to get muddy and unended. Why? It's like now like the two car crush together. Which big truck is uh, bigger, have a bigger momentum, who win? And then the whole thing drag like crazy. Okay, it's not clean anymore. 
violating the Chi Chi Guang saying. Okay? The third violation is all these folks out, Tan Pong folk. <coughs> if you read uh, Grandmaster Yip Man's uh, interview, that's for receiving. There's no way using this uh, Tan Pong folk techniques to do those uh, those uh, pairing, withdrawing, uh, pairing, uh, withstanding those kind of stuff. Like today, people doing the, 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 the withstanding pairing. You, you read Grandmaster Yip Man's uh, uh, 1972 interview. He said it's not about blocking and all those things, but now we're doing that. Okay? So, three count violation here. Just by doing this, this so. It's a case of that. It's not going to win. You know where is the bad habit come in? Chi Sao. Okay? That's where the bad habit coming in. Do not understand that what is exactly. And, and, and as well as I say, Grandmaster Yip Man's writing is there since 1972. We don't want to talk about Chi Ji Guang or, or whoever I want to quote above that. But for God's sake, something in front of our eyes. If we don't read it and keeping Tai Chi, Jing, mind power, what bullshit is that? Okay? One fall right flat in, the, in one face. While the, the grandmaster's writing, nobody want to read it. Oh, I have the most authentic Wing Chun. But can we just really serious read about something carefully? So that we, we, don't, we don't screw ourselves. So, this kinds of stuff, this are uh, using Tan Pong for all this thing, now become chasing hand, become get muddy in the uh, in the uh, in the line of attack, exchange strike, and it's not following Wing Chun. Ding Grand Master Yiman said that is for receiving, it's not for blocking or anything. Why is that we got, got to have all this uh, uh, forward pressure, all, all this kind of stuff? And then you add uh, uh, internal power, mind power, all this power. You know what? You stand in this zone of fire, you have all this power. One punch from the Western boxer, a jab, knockout. It doesn't matter what power, what internal, what, what no internal. Okay? That's serious. Now, the third thing is saying that, oh, yeah, if I move here, he's going to follow me. So, it, it doesn't work. If I move here, well, so all the Wing Chuners practice that, well, I, I get an angle, I have always an angle, and he's going to keep following me. Well, then I have already shared with everybody. One in the Wing Chun for the a uh, sticking body short strike. One have minimum three ways, three momentum to get in from the straight. Okay, from the straight, from the side, from the back. I always hate this when I when I want to do the back because I want to hit, I don't want to hit my face to the to the, the stupid done bar. Okay, that's that show how bad is that that uh, that, that design. So if one don't train in the get in, okay, this is a strike and the elbow is closed in so that if people say argue want to argue this is gonna hit me. You see how close this this elbow to the uh, to the to the core already. Okay. If one don't train to come in, can come in straight, come inside, come in from behind, and keeping doing that kind of shifting, shifting, shifting. How the heck is one going to do uh, 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 do anything at all? In the real life, it's full of bait. It's a whole bunch of baiting. I want to go this way. I'm not going to go there. Who says it cannot be going straight? And is this one is a is is a is a problem? It's not a problem. Is I'm in here already with my elbow here. I'm in here because if he is here, I can smash him. I can hook him. But if he's here, like grabbing like that, it's very tough for this arm to move, especially come with an angle. Okay. 
momentum play, timing play, position play. Okay? So if we don't train this, we don't train this, we don't train this, what are we doing? Sitting like this in a movie? Like this in a movie? So, to sum up number one, we need to know. Is this a long phase or is it a short strike? We need to know the momentum, the mechanics. How really how is the momentum and mechanics reality? The second, there's no point to chase hand here. No point to get muddy. And let's not abuse Wing Chun techniques. Tan Pong Fu is not for this blocking and all those those, those withstanding those kind of stuff. The third thing is that if we don't train to get in from, from front, get in from side, get in from back, what are we doing? Are we doing sticking body short strike? Or are we doing something else? So the whole bottom line is that this is all technical play. The guy who do that will be, you know, is he right? Sure, he's right. He's going to go this position, strike. He's going to strike me. I'm going to do folks out and all this thing. Technically, if we play technique, it's a, under the, the box of technical play. Is that right? Sure, it's 100% proper. However, there is a total screw up in the real momentum world. Okay. Let me tell you what is the uh, where to see this thing. Okay, the contrast. Yip Man Tree, the fight between the Donnie Yen and Mike Tyson is the best, best example of one is using momentum play, one is momentum play, which is Mike Tyson and Donnie Yen is just a technical play which he doesn't know anything at all. And you expect to get whipped by uh, by, uh, by by Mike Tyson. Okay, so go watch that. And seriously, Yip Man 4 is gonna come out. I hope somebody gets somebody who have a brain to, 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 to make a good uh, a good uh, movie, okay? Instead of repeat what the, uh, in the, in the Yip Man 3. Because my friend from Kyokushin and Western Boxing call me up, pull my leg. Ha ha ha, Hendrik, are you serious? There's, there's Wing Chun when they saw the, uh, the, the, the the Donnie Yen and uh, Mike Tyson fight because at first they advertised oh Donnie Yen and Mike Tyson so my friend in Kyokushin and uh, in in, uh, in, uh, in 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 Western boxing said you know let's go watch this and then when they come I'm gonna call you up and that's what I get are you serious this is Wing Chun so this is to share with you today okay I'm not attacking anybody, I just tell you, this is the facts, this is the facts of the world we live in. Get out from the box of the, 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 the movie, uh, uh, technical, techniques play type of thing, or this uh, force play of the thing. We can keep living in our Wing Chun preference world, but people outside who live in reality outside that world is not going to live inside that world okay so this is to share with you today and uh, I hope everybody progress and again I don't know everything I'm not the guru so you think about what I'm saying if I have a point then you can take it if you like it if I don't have the point just take I didn't say anything okay